Helen asks, uh, we are using the Windows 10 OneNote app and are struggling with accidental deletions of pages and sections. Is there, wow, I've never heard of that happening. Uh, is there a way to restore or find pages we have accidentally deleted or moved other than what we have done so far? Is, and so she's checked a view tab, deleted notes, but the history is disabled. Try to search and locate the pages, no luck. I've tried to recycle bin and SharePoint as linked to a class team, no luck. I've tried opening the notebook of the 2016 version of OneNote and has never used this app, no backup or history. Anyone has any ideas? This is for both students and teachers. So it sounds like Helen's also utilizing this through, through the Teams for EDU solution. So has anybody experienced that? I have. Um, prior to the moving to uh, unlimited viz where I am now, I worked in education for 10 years and we were using the, the team templates. Now, the, the particulars about recovering OneNote tab sections, I, I really don't know uh, how mechanically that would work outside of trying to restore from the SharePoint, the underlying SharePoint site recycled in, but uh, if she is using the, the the Teams for Class template, it's it's very structured. The teacher instructors that are set up as owners and students are set up with very restricted ways that they can interact with the team and and, and um, add content and contribute content. Uh, this is a segue. This is nothing to answer that question. But the cool thing is, is that think about the EDU environment and all of those class lists all of the, the students, the teachers, and they, Microsoft has a free offering called SDS, called uh, School Data Sync. It takes that information and auto provisions all of the teams and maintains that roster information inside of each team security on a daily basis. So all you have to do is have like CSV or, or depending on what your learning management system is, hook into this SDS process provisions, everything. And then we we had invested some time getting toying around with this pre pandemic. And when the pandemic hit, it was like turn the light switch on and we were online. It was it's absolutely amazing when you think about provisioning under that much load. Um, so SDS school templates doesn't answer the question, but it is a really cool feature if you are in EDU and uh, want a way to uh, uh, auto provision the teams and more importantly keep that uh, that management of members up to date well thank you for that very long non-answer excellent mm -hmm. <laughs> that's some things in life <laughs> but so well, I, was, I, I, fun I, there, yeah. I saw the lips come up <laughs> no, i was i was waiting to add that snark to the end no but oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Goes, it's all done out of love of course of course of course <laughs> No, but my first thought too is around this. I don't know anything that is, because uh, I'm not an expert on the EDU version of things or how teams might do something slightly different. But all of OneNote uh, is it's the the Windows version of it, at least. It's all saved to OneDrive, so that history should be available, and the rules would be applied of how uh, OneDrive stores those files. Um, so, uh, you know, if I don't know if, if Helen is, is that's where she's gone and looked. Um, that's where that history would be. That's where you'd go and check. Well, I'm wondering why the history is disabled because that was my first thought. Yeah. It was yeah. go to the history and hit the restore. Um, but I've never seen that before. So I'm wondering, you know. Well, that's what I, it, I think that that wrinkle added wrinkle of accessing it via teams i don't know if something different is happening there I, you know i mean there's a few things that are just different nuanced about this this issue um well, and if, so yeah if it's the team's notebook that's assigned to the team it's in the site assets library of sharepoint why they did that instead of a document library i don't know but um, Noah's nodding his <laughs> Like, I don't know who comes up with this, but knowing to go look there, like you're saying, Christian, maybe seeing the version history that's there, they might be able to recover some of it, but then so they're gonna lose the future work, so. So if, if that's actually where in this example, that's where those files were stored. So that's, yes, that's correct for the teams there. Um, yeah, so the, as Norm, you just, 
you could jump in, you can talk. We're here. We're we're live. But, <laughs> um, if, if for some reason that instance was actually a one note that was added into Teams but was created from a personal location, that would be the OneDrive. Right. So it could be you know those two locations. Norm, what was your ad there? Uh, my ad was simply a uh, a link over to how to recover deleted class no foot files from the OneDrive recycle bin. So I, I guess that it infers that, like Sherry said, that this is a personal OneNote if it's done out of a a team. For conceivably, it's on the underlying SharePoint site recyclement. Yeah, unless you create the notebook in the document library in the tab in Teams, it, that general one that's assigned is in the site assets library. Otherwise, it's in the folder of the channel that you created it in. <laughs> and Thank if you. it's if it's not in either of the, those locations and, and or you're unable to access either of those locations, talk to your admin and it's potentially going to be, and I always apologize in advance, could be a support call to find out what's going on.